Welcome to Big Data Trunk. This video explains the basic concepts of Java. What is Java? Java is a programming language and it is more popular for developing distributed applications because Java provides a computing platform for object oriented programming and it is robust, high level and secure programming language. Java also provides platform independence which means Java programs can run on any operating system. The diagram shows a Java program is converted to bytecode by using Java compiler and this bytecode can run on any operating system with the help of JVM in each operating system. Here we will see some of the important components of Java. What is JDK? JDK is a development environment to develop Java applications. It includes JRE and development tools like Java compiler and debugger etc. What is JRE? JRE is mainly used to run Java applications. It includes JVM and set of libraries. What is JVM? JVM converts bytecode to executable code and run on a machine. We will see how JVM works internally. JVM interprets bytecode line by line and converts into native understanding format of OS. Bytecode can be further compiled for processor using just-in-time compiler for speed up the interpretation phase by reading the entire section of bytecode and converting into native understanding format of OS. JVM makes the Java technology as platform independence because in every operating system JVM includes which interprets the bytecode and converts into understanding format of OS. In this slide we can see the clear picture of how Java program works. Here half of the phase includes Java compile time environment and half of the phase includes Java runtime environment. After conversion of Java source code into bytecode, this bytecode enters into Java runtime environment. There exists Java compiler and interpreter. The interpreter is used to increase the speed of interpretation and the runtime system generates the output. Here we will discuss data types in Java programming. Data types specifies the size and type of values that can be stored in variables. Mainly data types are classified into two groups, primitive data types and reference data types. Primitive data types are predefined by the language. Reference data types is also known as non-primitive data types. These data types are defined by user using the concept of class, interface and array. These data types are shown in figure clearly. In this table, we can clearly identify all the primitive data types, its default values and sizes. These are the different operators which are supported in Java programming during application development. Most of these operators are similar to C, C++ programming language. Java programming supports 50 keywords which are shown in slide. These keywords comes under data types, flow controls, object level, exception, etc. We must not use these keywords as a identifiers or variables during programming. Otherwise, it raises compile time error. Now we will see what are expressions, statements and blocks in Java programming. What is expression? It is a construct made up of variables, operators and method invocations. Con expressions are constructed according to the syntax of the language. In an example, we can clearly observe result is an integer type variable. It contains 1 plus 2, that is 3. What is a statement? A statement in Java programming forms a complete unit of execution. In examples, there are three statements that is assignment statement, increment statement and method invocation statement. A block is a group of statements 
within balanced braces or we can say statements within open and closed flower brackets is nothing but a block in slide we can observe clearly condition is true statement belongs to block 1 condition is false belongs to block 2 what is class in java a class is a collection of data members and associated methods or we can define the process of binding the data members and associated methods in a single unit is nothing but class the purpose of class is to develop user defined data type in example we can observe clearly a car is a class and type fuel color or the data members transport running and repair or the methods of a class a method is a block of code to perform specific business operations in order to fulfill the solutions for the real time problems in slide we can observe clearly the example of a method we defined a method that is my method by receiving the arguments arg1 and arg2 in code we are calling two methods method1 and method method2 here we will discuss what is object and how to create an object object is nothing but an instance of a class instance means allocating the sufficient amount of memory for data members and methods of a class the syntax of how to create object we can see in slide and we can observe clearly in example b is an object of abc class in diagram we can see b contains the reference address for data members of a class now we will see what is array an array is a collection of similar data type elements array is a data structure and we can store only fixed set of elements in a java array it has a fixed name type and length once the array size is declared we cannot be changed during run time next we will see the example for array in example we can clearly identify an array index is always starts from 0 to maximum size minus 1 here we declared size of array is 5 that's why the array size starts from 0 to 4 we are storing five elements in array by using for loop that we can see the slide clearly access modifiers in java specifies accessibility of a data member method constructor or class there are four types of java access modifiers public protected private default if anything we specified as public methods in any class can access the data members for protected methods in the same or any child class can access the data members in private only methods within the class can access the data members and finally default only methods in the same package can access the data members